Okay, this is Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and soon to be therapist, back here with another fishy unboxing. I'm standing from my door. UPS just left. I said a thank you. So I always say thank you to our UPS drivers, our FedEx drivers, everybody that delivered me because you guys do a lot of work out there. So there's a box there. Let's see what I have. What's, let's see what I have coming. What's inside the box? I already know, but you don't know yet. So stay tuned now. So I'm back here for another unboxing. I just brought downstairs into the fish room and I wonder what's inside here. And I like the fact they put live fish or fish online, they come in all shapes and sizes. Some people put live fish, they just, there's a box from USPS, or here's a box. And there's a fragile on here, so yeah, I don't wanna turn it upside down. There's a fragile label here in the box. You guys can probably see right here, a label in the box. So this is gonna be my unboxing, my first fish for the fish room. You guys see one, there's two, there's a tank here, a tank in the back, a pond there, of what's gonna happen. So, let's get to the box. Now the way, so it's right here, it's gonna go in this tank. You guys are probably curious what it is. I'm curious too. Here's a box of acclimation. So first, I'm gonna take my razor blade, let out so lightly to cut the box, I don't wanna cut the bag. It's come all the way from Missouri. So it's far away from PNW, Pacific Northwest. So I want to see what's inside here. So I'm going to take extra care. It's like I'm very, very passionate about this hobby. Open the boxes. It's very, 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 very well packed. You guys can see right here. I'm going to tip so much upside down. It's very well packed. Also, so let's take. So I should foam on top. Oh my God. I'm getting so excited. I don't know if I should show you. Let me show you guys right now. What's in here? Let me show you right now. So let me show you guys what's inside here. Did, did I say another stingray? Did I say another stingray? Yes, there's another stingray inside the box itself and I'm ready to put it inside my tank. So I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod itself. I do apologize for all the commotion moving around, but when you're a solo person, doing it yourself, I'm solo, I'm doing it all myself. I don't have a camera person, so it's looking really beautiful. I'm super excited about the unboxing. I'm super excited to get, get him. It's a Mel Stingray, so I just mentioned that. It's a BD, so it's a blood, not sorry, diamond Stingray from Stingray BD. So I'm gonna put a link in the description and put a link here to their website. Found on Instagram and look at them for a while. They finally got more stock, so take it out nice and slow. Good condition, bag and bus. Let me show you guys. Take a look, my new buddy. Take a look, take a look, take a look. So what I'm gonna do as part of my affirmation process is I'm gonna put it in here for now. I'm gonna open up, actually I'm gonna take this off Give Stingray some room to acclimate. Put this down on the table. I'm gonna slow gently put the Stingray inside the tank itself. Let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. And we're gonna see what happens. I gotta put the pipers back in, right? That, that, that comes off. Gotta fix that eventually. But let's put the Stingray in there. And let's see what happens. I'll be right back. Let me set my timer. Hold on, I gotta set the timer. I gotta make sure everything's good. I'll be back and make sure it's custom. Uh huh. I love the Apple Watch, of course. And let's take a look. You guys see that? 25 more minutes. We're we'll back and we'll start the acclimation process. Right. So I'm back and we're looking at about 13, 10, 9, 8, ready to go, 25 minutes acclimation. So those that are not used to acclimating fish, it's a really simple but process of, turn that watch off, a process of 
Get in your fish, and you gotta realize if you order a fish, this is really applies. If you order a fish, especially online, it's been 24 hours in the same bubble, and sorry, in the same uh, bag. There's gonna be poop in there, ammonia. It's gonna have low oxygen or low pH. So it's important to it's important to acclimate the fish to the new environment. So I'm putting them in this tank. I'm acclimating the stay rate to this tank in here. So what you need usually. <clears throat> I usually use a box about this big or a plastic container. Um, what that means is I'm going to take a new fishing friend out of here. Make sure I'm nice and careful, nice and slow. Okay, so take it out of here. So in acclimation process, you need something to put the fish in. You need tubing to do a drip. I'm gonna grab it here, but I usually have a bucket to put the old water in here. I'm gonna show what that means as I do this unboxing video. But first, I'm gonna get them out of here. Let's get some fresh air. Be sure we ever open a box. I almost cut the bag, but I want to cut from the rubber bands only. So they're nice and tight as always. Let's see if we get in here. Or right, you know what? Let's cut the bag. Be very careful, I was not to cut the fish. Luckily, stingers are always at the bottom. So I'm open the bag. Nice and slow. Awesome, awesome. Also open this bag nice and slow. Uh, stingrays do have a stinger, so you gotta be careful and you know not put through a lot of stress uh, because whoo, I smell the water coming with that ammonia. Phew! He's definitely has some poop in there. So when we open up this guy out of here, missing time. So I'm gonna kind of put the bag in here and let them out nice and slow with the water itself. Awesome, right? You don't, I don't want to just Pull off them in something else. So, the reason why, oh, it's so beautiful. Right, let me show you guys. Let me show you how beautiful this, this stingray is. We walk over here and let me just show you. Look at those colors. Beautiful. Beautiful. You probably can see the water looks a little less clear and murky than usual, which is fine. So, we go ahead and put you back up here and finish the unboxing. I just had, I just had to show you. My, my excitement is so huge today. You guys can imagine. So, what I'm gonna do is, all the water's inside here, okay? That means the water's in ship with. So what I'm gonna do, the reason why I have a bucket here, is I'm gonna slightly drain some water out. So that means that first, we do the drip. Put inside the tank first, because this is the tank it's going into. Okay? I'm gonna do it old school style. Oh, actually, before I do that, I can pour some water out, right? So nice and slow. Not, it's not spooking. Just a little bit. Good. You guys probably can't see the bucket, but it does not matter. Next, old school way. Right, so water's dripping right really, really fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna tie it off. I'm gonna let it, uh, that's a little less than I wanted. A little more, hold on a second. So it's there fast. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna slightly tie it off. So it goes to trickle. A little more. There we go. Put them inside there. What I need to do is that this is super, super thin tubing I have right here. I do not like this tubing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this side. Still green, yeah, still green. Tube all the way in there. Make sure to slide out. That's why I hate buying sheet tubing online. This is exactly what happens. See? I knew it was gonna happen. So I gotta start over again. Put it in here. So I'm back, I get different tubing. The reason being, this is super, super thin, so it's getting pinched when I put it inside there. So I got more rich tubing, which I like better. I should have had this ready prior, but it is what it is. And let's get this guy acclimated, right? As soon as possible, right now it's the way. So again, it's in there. Don't like the water taste. So, I'm going to now let it drip. What I'm going to do is slowly, slowly let it drip. Mm. 
little bit more. Nice little trickle, just like that. And let him yakimate it right in the water. So what I'm going to do is every time myself, every, every few minutes, I'm going to dump some water in old water here as new water fills in. Old water in the bucket, new water fills in there. So I'm keep just dumping acclimating to this, this current new environment. So this is really, really, really cool. I'm excited to see the Stingray get in a new environment. And you guys know the Stingray, Stingray is back in the back buried. This is a male Stingray. I'm not saying, I'm trying to breed, I'm just saying male and female, hey, got a, got a, a black diamond, you got a Montero Stingray. You never know what may happen. I'm just saying putting that out there. But it's more difficult than that. I'm not a breeder at all. So I'll let that mix process go itself. I'll turn the video off. I'll turn it back on when he's already in the tank and show you the final. All right, guy, Ray's in the tank. A new guy's in the tank. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna dim the lights now. Give us some time to acclimate. Give them time to get used to each other because it's the first time they're meeting. So let's see what happens. And we'll come back soon maybe a couple of days and see what's going on. Stay tuned.